imagine this. You're asleep in a cabin on a boat, and suddenly you wake up to the sound of a loud bang. The sound shakes everything around as if it were an explosion. You run quickly to see what happened. You're shocked to find a group of the most dangerous predators of the sea surrounding your boat from all sides. It's a group of killer whales, also known as orcas. The orcas have targeted your boat from every direction, and they have only one goal in mind. We're going to sink it. What I'm telling you is not fiction or a foreign movie. This is an experience that dozens, even hundreds of sailors have gone through. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell so you'll be the first to get our videos. The story I just told you is what the sailor Arthur N. Bellew experienced. Arthur lived through a night of terror near the Portuguese coast. That night ended with him miraculously surviving after an orca attack. Arthur recalls that after the first heavy blow to the boat, the orcas circled the boat for five minutes. They hit it two or three times. Then they spotted another boat nearby. The orcas left Arthur's boat and went after the second one. But it wasn't long before the group of orcas came back to Arthur. What was a brief five-minute visit turned into an hour-long nightmare. The result? Arthur and his companions barely survived after the boat was severely damaged. These incidents weren't the first, and certainly won't be the last. Since 2020, numerous reports have come in from the coasts of Spain, Portugal, and Morocco, especially around the Strait of Gibraltar. If you're wondering why the orcas are attacking like this, scientists have several theories. Some say these attacks are a form of revenge. Researcher Lopez Fernandez claims that a female orca known to scientists as White Gladys, has started treating boats like enemies after suffering an injury from one. Since then, she's been attacking boats, and other orcas have learned this aggressive behavior from her. This theory suggests that orcas are targeting boats for revenge. But could they really act this way? Killer whales are known to learn quickly and can easily pass on new techniques to their group. So, if one of them decides to take revenge, the rest could follow suit. Some researchers believe the orcas are simply playing. Killer whales are known for loving to play, even if it means disrupting something else. They've been seen playing with seals, tossing them into the air like a ball without actually killing them. While play might be part of the explanation, many believe the frequency and intensity of the attacks make it more than just a game. These repeated attacks haven't just affected sailors, but they're impacting the marine environment as a whole. People who rely on the sea for trade or fishing find themselves in a tough spot. If things continue like this, the region's fishing and trading activities could be severely affected. Coastal communities rely heavily on the sea, and if the orca attacks persist, the economic impact could be massive. That's why marine scientists are working to find solutions to this problem. They're studying orca behavior in more complex ways, using advanced technologies like satellites and tracking orcas from a distance. Some research teams have started using sophisticated tracking devices, which are attached to the orca's bodies to monitor their movements. These devices help locate areas where orcas gather in large numbers, allowing sailors to avoid these hotspots. Researcher Roy Alves took this a step further by creating a website that provides real-time updates on orca attack locations. This site offers an updated map showing where orca attacks or sightings occur. It also offers sailors tips on how to deal with orca attacks. One of the most important tips is to keep the boat moving. The more stationary the boat is, the easier it is for orcas to target the rudder. If you're someone who loves marine adventures, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. We've got more thrilling stories about mysterious and dangerous sea creatures. And don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed this story, so we can reach more viewers. Scientists and researchers are particularly worried about the potential escalation of these attacks. If orcas continue refining their techniques, 
they could become an even greater threat. Killer whales are exceptionally intelligent, and if they can pass on their knowledge to future generations, we might see even more hostile behavior in the years to come. In some cases, scientists have noticed orcas attacking boats for seemingly no reason. This has led researchers to question whether orcas are developing a kind of environmental awareness. Could they be trying to protect their marine habitat from human interference? Sailors, working in the Strait of Gibraltar, are facing this challenge daily. For many of them, the sea has always been a source of income and safety. But now, they're hesitant to venture into the water for fear of orca attacks. In 2023 alone, more than 30 small boats sank due to these attacks. The greatest fear is that these incidents will increase in the future. Some people believe that orcas won't stop until they feel humans are no longer a threat. That's why sailors have started using new techniques for protection, such as emitting certain sounds to distract the orcas, or covering boats with materials that make them harder to target. Scientists are still searching for answers to these questions. But one thing is certain. Whether the orcas are playing or seeking revenge, they're causing a real sense of unease in the Mediterranean region. In the end, we have to wonder, could there be a middle ground between humans and these marine creatures? Or have the orcas already decided to start a revolution against humans? If you liked this episode, don't forget to support us with a like and subscribe. Your support helps us continue bringing you more exciting stories. See you in the next one.